Hello everyone, happy Halloween guys and welcome back to my channel. For everyone that is new, welcome. Thank you for all the new subbies out there. Thank you so much. My name is Angel Baby and I am a low income budget here on my channel. Um, if you guys like budget with me, game night, game day, um, cash stuffing, that kind of stuff, and what I spent in a week, please make sure that you stop right now. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here with my budget family, and it helps my channel grow. Make sure, guys, you give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos, and also hit that bell. That way you are notified the next time I do upload a random video because I have been doing that so far. Been, um, you know, today's Monday, so I've been filming on random days. So let's get into it, guys. It is game day. Actually, it is boo yay game day. So I decided to do something special for the adults. Today is Halloween, so it's for the kids with a trick or treat. And I wanted to do something for the adults to enjoy Halloween as well. So I decided to do boo yay game day. So let's get started, guys. This is my game board I came up with, my little ghost. And on here, I have six categories. I do have a dice or a die that I will be rolling and it will tell me what category I'm going to be playing with. And let me grab what I will be working with today. So if you guys have been familiar with Handsome Bands, this is her Save for the Date Scratch Off Edition and that is her channel. Make sure that you check her channel out, show her some love, show her Etsy some love and subscribe. Also like her videos too as well, along with mine too. And let her know that I sent you over. But I'm gonna go into here. Now it has different categories like summer and 4th of July. And I had actually started the Easter. I did that one. And I wasn't going to start this back until January, but I decided to do game day a little different today. So I'm gonna go into her OG savings book. And we're going to, sorry guys, I bumped you a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do, and these are her, her little scratch off tokens that she does sell too as well. We're gonna do her Halloween savings challenge, which is when this whole thing is completed, is $250. Now, this is the most money that I have used on a game night or game day. So I'm gonna get one of her scratch off tokens out of here. And we're gonna play Bouye game day with this. Now, I do have $250, like I said, the most money that I've ever used on a game night or game day. So we're gonna count this out real quick. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. So we are going to use this money and I'm going to complete this full challenge. Now I haven't seen anyone do this so far and I like to be creative. So I'm going to use this as my scary game day challenge and I'm going to complete the whole thing. I'm, a, I'm going to scratch up every last one of these icons and I will save this one for last because that looked like the scariest one. It's alone up at the top by itself. So I don't know what's under here. But I decided that I'm going to go ahead and complete one full one and use this as a game day event. So we're gonna just go ahead and put our money up here. And hopefully guys, if you are going out today with your grandkids or your children for Halloween, please be careful and watch their candy, watch their surroundings. You know, people are kind of crazy out there now. It's a different environment than it was years ago and people are doing the most, especially with like hiding drugs and candy. So make sure that you're checking out those candies if you're out trick-or-treating with your um, your family. Uh, okay, so let's get started guys. I will be scratching off one of these, but I'm gonna grab my game board real quick. So let's move this over and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna play Bouye game day today. So, these are my six categories today for Bouye game day. And we have one is home reno because I will have to do some home renovations for Mama Cat to make her home more comfortable for her to live it in. You know, um, as we get older, we look for comfort and convenience. So I am going to be doing some home renovations starting probably in January. So that is what that envelope is for. Two is the kitty cat challenge, which is my 40 plus life challenge. 
And this is it. And I do have a dollar that was attached to there from game day last time where I cheated, but we're not going to get into that. But anyway, um, that is for medical expenses. Now, Mama Cat did have surgery Friday. Thank you guys for all your well wishes, love, support, and um, even sending donations through my buy me a coffee link that I set for Mama Cat, which I always link that in every description box below. So if you guys want to send Mama Cat a message or give a donation to brighten her day, um, please make sure you check out my, the buy me a coffee link in the description box and send her some love. I do give those to her. That is just solely her money from you guys. And whatever you say in your comment, I write in the card and I get like a little Hallmark card. I write down your comments, your channel, and um, I put the donations in for her so it brightens her day and it's like a well wish. So thank you for all your positively. She got through her surgery quite well. Thank you very much. And um, she is recouping quite nicely so thank you again guys and if you want to support mama cat please check out the link down below buy me a copy link and that is that on that <laughs> but the kitty cat challenge also is to pay back some of the debt that we are going to incur because of her medical expenses especially the surgery she just had so that's where that money is going to go and i'm going to have to do that challenge a couple of times to get that money together for the surgery and other expenses um also, too, I want to clarify, too, before I get started in game day, um, Booyah game day, um, whenever I say that Mama Cat's going through treatments, I'm not sure if it was completely clear to everyone, but my mom does have cancer. She has multiple myeloma cancer, and so it is not curable, but it is treatable. So when I say treatments, those are cancer treatments. So I just want to clarify that if anyone was confused. So anyway, um, that buy me a coffee link is to support mama cat to brighten her day through her treatments for her cancer so there we go clarification so anyway we have three which is savings and that's um i'm going to collect all the money up for the month and then i will count out what i'm going to deposit when i do my what i spent um during the week and i typically do those on sundays i didn't get one out um, Sunday, but that's okay. I'm gonna start off fresh in November, but I will show you guys what I'm depositing in the savings account. So um, I'll do that once a month, but I want to also put that on game day. And four is Uncle Buck. That is the support family that is in need. Five is my $500 um, challenge, which is by Mama Britt's budget so make sure you check her channel out too as well and i'll try to link that down in my description box as well along with hands and bands and 40 plus life and sis is car maintenance so i will be eventually getting mama cat a car of her own we've been sure in one vehicle because through her treatments she's not been well enough to drive so we weren't worried about transportation for her but as she get better, then eventually I will make sure she has a car. So when I'm at work, she'll be able to go wherever she pleases. So those are my categories for Booyah Game Day. So let's get started, guys, because I have taught enough. Okay, so I'm going to get my die. Uh, but I always call this a dice. I'm going to roll it and it's going to tell me what category I'm going to put the money in. And then I will grab my Handsome Bands OG Halloween Challenge. And I'll scratch off so it will tell me the amount that I'm putting in the category. So let's see where the first money is going to go or category. So we have one, which is Home Reno. So that is great. All right, off to a good start. So let me grab my halloween savings challenge and i'm going to pick one of these for home like i said i'm going to use this one as the last one and these are 19 icons so i'll have to roll 19 times so let's go to we'll just go ahead and do this ghost and see where the money is going to go oh i should say how much because we already know where the money's going so we have ten dollars so ten dollars starting off is going to go into home renovations so let me grab rose And I have a home envelope in here. Now, I don't know if this is going to stay in rows, but um, we'll see. I'm not sure. But I do have an envelope here for my challenges for um, game night so or game day, wherever I choose to play at the time. So right now at home, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to grab a $10 and we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I figured this was a great way to do Bouye game day. Come over here, talk to you guys about life, play some little games with you guys, and complete a challenge that I wanted to go ahead and do. So let's, oh, 
I'm jumping ahead. Look at that. I'm so excited. I'm jumping ahead. So let me grab my Bouye Game Day board and let's roll again to see what the next category is going. Uh-oh. I'm going to slide it over because this is what landed on. So it was six. Six is car maintenance on here. So that's going to be for Mama Cat's car. Um, I do want to keep that separate from my car maintenance. So I'm going to give her her own envelope. So let's see. Let's see if I have a car one in here. I think I do. I do. Okay. So we'll use this one for Mama Cat for right now. I don't know if I'm going to change up and put these in Trudy, but for right now, it'll stay in two rows. So let me move this off and let me see how much it's going into the car maintenance for her. And on my game board, I might have to change her car maintenance to another category and maybe put M for Mama Cat car maintenance or something like that so I don't get those car maintenance as confused. So let's go into one of the skulls. So in car maintenance for Mama Cat, which will be for her vehicle that we'll eventually get. And I think that my um, cousin's gonna have a car for her and we'll just need to do some of the car maintenance to get the car up to the standards that Mama Cat wants because I think she wants new seat covers and um, for it to be detailed and then I'll have to pay insurance and all that good stuff. So we need money. So we have $12 going into Mama Cat's car maintenance. So let me grab Rose. And there's nothing in there right now. So this is like a brand new category for moms. So we have 10, 11, 12. So that is 10, 11, 12. And that will start off her car fund. Maybe I will do car fund instead of car maintenance. That will make more sense for her. Okay, so let's move Rose. So hopefully you guys are enjoying game night. Now I am going to start a new challenge. Well, I'm going to start a couple of new challenges. Let me roll. Um, but the major one I'm going to start is 40 plus life. Show me the love challenge. If you guys don't know what that is, I don't have it with me right now. I do have the game board, but it's where you color in the thumbs and then um, you write down how many likes you get per video. So make sure guys that you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumb. Um, so I know that you like the video and I will put that money towards her car fund too. Maybe that's what I'm going to use that money for. So show me the love on this video or any videos that I do and give me a thumbs up please because it helps the channel grow and also leave me a comment down below to let me know uh, what's going on in your life. Let me know what you're doing for Halloween. Let, just let me know. Just let's talk and I will comment back to you guys. So anyway, show me the love and make sure you like my videos and give a thumbs up. The interaction is great for you too. So back to game night or I should say game day because we're not on night yet game day we have four so that is category uncle buck so if you have a family member in your life that is so I don't want to say unorganized but can't get their stuff together then you have an uncle buck and if you guys don't know what that is google it, it is an actual um thing <laughs> it is a movie out there called uncle buck and you just really have to watch if you don't know you need to watch that video it's um where this particular uncle in this family cannot get their life together but in the end they do and they get their family together and move on and happy ever after that kind of stuff but um you know, every family has an Uncle Buck that kind of struggles in life. So that is what that um, money is for. So I'm going to pick one of these cauldrons and scratch this off. And this will go into Uncle Buck. So just in case that family member needs some help, I'll have some money to give to that family member. Because let's be honest, we all have one. So we have $11 going into Uncle Buck. So let me grab Spirit. And this is my major challenge binder, and this is where I keep the Uncle Buck envelope. So let's go into, did I pass it? Maybe, maybe not. I have it in personal, and I have a little category on there for Uncle Buck. So let's see what we have in here right now for Uncle Buck. Okay, we have 2040 so far, so that is great. So let me get a 10 and a 1 for 11. So in Uncle Buck, we had 20, 40, 50, and 1. So that is great start. That's racking up pretty big. Um, I've tried to also budget too for Uncle Buck while I do my cash stuffing because that's important. You never know if your family is going to have an emergency. So I 
have that money just in case I need to help someone else out. And let's grab game board again and go to the next one here. So let me roll it again because it went off. So it's five. So five is the $500 challenge. So let's go into there. And let's see, I'm already skipping ahead and all over the place. So let me go. I'm not going to count this challenge yet, um, but let me grab the savings challenge. Now, when this one is done, I will count it, but until then, I'm not going to do so. So let's go into here and scratch off a pumpkin. Let's do a pumpkin. Sorry guys, this video may be a little long, but hopefully you can hang in there because I really need to get this challenge completed. So we have 13 in here. So that's going to go into the $500 challenge. Let's see if I have... Okay, I do. Let's see. Um, let me grab a blue so I could do a 10. And I can do a two and then I can do a one and that will be $13 going into this challenge and this is just a little bit extra so I can have some money into the bank and it's a fun way to be able to get that money together if you challenge yourself you want to complete the challenge and so it's more motivation to do it this way so we have 10 11 12 13 and that will just be put in here and when this challenge is completed then I will count the money if I can get it back in there I'm just gonna stick this money in the front and I'll arrange it later because I don't want this video to be too long which I'm afraid that will be but that's okay you guys are hanging if not, just skip around to your favorite parts of the video. Okay, so we have four. Four is Uncle Buck again. So let me grab my book here and let's do another skull. Okay, Uncle Buck is getting $10. And let's see, let's go back into here. And let's see. Grab the money out. Let me grab a 10. And Uncle Buck, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and one. So 61 for Uncle Buck. And I'm terribly afraid that this is gonna be like a 30 minute long video, but that's okay if you guys don't watch this whole thing, then that's okay, I understand. Cause I didn't intend for it to be this long, but I think it is because of the amount of money and rolling and scratching off. So we have three. So three on my game board is saving. So I'm happy about that. Let's see what's going to go into savings. And let's do another pumpkin. So let's do let's do this one. So we have oh, $9 in savings, okay. So, let's grab confetti. Uh-oh. Now, I need to get this money up cuz I mean, you never know what's going to happen. So I definitely want to save some money back. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's go in here and see what we have in savings right now. So we have 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 8 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's grab the nine bucks and savings. We have 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. No, 13? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's try this again. I don't know where my mind went. So it's 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, and 3. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm like, no, that, that was not right at all. When I said it, I was like, nope. <laughs> not today, Satan, not today. <laughs> I know it's Halloween, but not today. <laughs> okay, so let's roll again. So we have three. Three is savings again. Okay. Let's see. God knew I needed to get that savings up. So let's go into a ghost and scratch one of these off and see what that's going to be for savings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. $30 in savings. Woo. 
Okay. All right. Now I knew this was going to be a large challenge. Like this is what's scary about how I did Bouye game day because it truly is scary. I don't know what's under these circles. <laughs> so it terrifies me. And I took um, $250, which that's the most I've ever taken out of a budget to play a game night or a game day. So, I mean, that is truly scary because I've never used that money like that before. That kind of money, I should say, to play any kind of game. So let's do 20 and a 10. And let's go in here and add this and count. Let's see if I can count again. <laughs> okay, so we have 20, 40, 55. 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, and 3. $73 so far for saving. So, man, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, let's grab the game board again. Ooh, I'm loving this. I'm going to have to do this again. If you want to complete a challenge and you do have a lot of money or, you know, a good bit to save up, um, towards that savings challenge, then this might be a way to go to be able to complete a whole challenge at one time. So we have four. Four is Uncle Buck. Okay. So let's see what Uncle Buck's going to get. Let's do a cauldron over here. Remember, I'm going to use that one last. I'm, I'm terrified of that one. Honey, the spooky season is upon us and I'm scared of that one right there because it looks terrifying. Okay. Especially with it being up there by itself. So we have 20 for Uncle Buck. So I do know that some of those um, scratch chops are going to be large. Because it's getting up to a $250 scale. So I mean granted yes. I know that some are going to be big numbers. So uh oh I didn't close it. So Uncle Buck is going to get $20. Grab all the money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 81 so not so bad for uncle buck and hopefully i won't have a family emergency anytime soon and that money can accumulate so you know fingers crossed on that so let's go back in here and see what the next one is three three is savings again okay not mad at it let's see what savings is going to get so let's go into let's go into this ghost here Okay, 16, all right, we can do that. 16 bucks for savings. So let's go back in here. Let me grab my money out. And so we have 10, 15, and 16. So I hope I have enough change because I made sure I broke this money down before I start filming so I wouldn't have to get off camera and do some bill exchanges here. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 60, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 89 for savings account. So maybe by the time I get done filming this, I'll have $100 at least to go back to the bank in savings. So let's hope. Okay, back again here. And let's see what we have for the next category. One. Home reno. Okay. So let's see what's going into home reno. So let's go into the one of these skulls here. Okay. We have seven bucks to go into home reno. All right. So let me grab Rose again and go into the home envelope. I am doing two separate, um, home renovation challenges um one is by tanya's budget and chaotic life here on youtube as well and it's her dog's day challenge so um i'm keeping those challenges separate so i know once i completed that uh, with the dog days challenge so that's why i have two envelopes for a home reno so we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 in home reno right now and i said that was getting what did i say was it 16? Crap. No, 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 seven. I had to look at the... I was getting confused on which one I just scratched off. Okay, so $7. And for a home renovation, now we have... a 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 26. So 26 for a home. And I 
don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't know this video was going to be long just because I'm doing a whole challenge. I don't know what I was thinking. Like that would have been reasonable to think, to be honest. So we have the next one is, I'm going to slide it. It's two. Two is the kitty cat challenge. Okay, so I'm glad that's getting something because those medical bills are going to be outrageous. So let's go in here and we're going to do a skull for that one. Okay, so that is by 40 plus life here and 15. Okay, not bad at all. Not not mad at that. Because that bill is going to be outrageous, I'm sure. Now, I've already paid about $5.50 for pre-op, then about $50 bucks to the doctor for his part for the office visit. So, I know I'll be getting more bills. So, let's go into the kitty cat challenge. I have one on here. So, I'm going to keep that clip because I didn't have enough on here to um, color off one for just a dollar bill. So, this is my kitty cat challenge. And, let's see, we did 15 So, let's... I guess I could just do a complete 15. Yeah, let's do that. So let's color in this one right here. And this is gonna to go to medical debt. And I think I will just keep this as her medical debt and just keep doing this challenge. Now I did laminate this. Now this is one that you just um, pay for and you print. And it does come in color, mine isn't because I don't have a color printer. But um, I decided to laminate it so I wouldn't have to keep printing off copies for it. So that's why mine's laminated. So we have 10, 15. I'm going to clip this one back on here. So I know when I do my cash stuffing, I need to put some more money in there so I could color off another kitty cat box. So let me go into Trudy. Now Trudy is my mom's binder and so I just keep all her goodies in here and it's going to go into this debt envelope. Now when that challenge is completed I will have $200 extra and I'm just going to stuff the money in because it's not completed and I don't count the challenge when it's not completed. So we're going to just stuff that in and keep it going with that guys. So let's go to the next category. Three. Three savings again. Okay. All right, so let's do a pumpkin down here. Let's move that down. I think you guys can see, hopefully, and scratch off this pumpkin here. Oh, big one, $20, all right. 20 to go to savings. Let's go back in here. Okay, and this envelope is getting thick, so I'm kind of glad I will have to definitely um, deposit that money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. Is that 100? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Wow. Okay. I talked it up. I'm telling you there is something in the power of the tongue. Let me tell you. I spoke that up. I manifested that. Now we have over $100 to go into the bank in our savings account. So happy. Okay. So we have five. Five is, okay, the $500 challenge. Let's see what's going in there. All right, let's do, let's do the last goal. Okay, okay, $10. So $10 to Mama Fritz budget, $500 challenge. Okay, so. I think I will be doing some of these again next year. And I think my strategy is going to be always to start with the largest numbers and work my way back. So I can complete, start in January, the large numbers. And by the time I hit Christmas, I don't have the stress of trying to come up with large amounts. I could just focus on birthdays and Christmas. So we have $10 here. I'm just going to stick all this in here and move on to the next category. We'll roll again here. And this is just going to um, savings too. And anytime I can save, I really try to do so. Um, Cause you just never know what's gonna come up. And I need to start doing investments. We have four, um, but I will start that back up in January, hopefully. So four on mine is Uncle Buck. So let's go into our challenge here and see what's going to go in Uncle Buck. So let's do a cauldron. 
Okay, Uncle Buck is getting $4. Okay. So let me grab Uncle Buck again here. And, okay, in personal. So it's getting four buckaroos. And let's see. We have one, two, three, four. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 80. Oh goodness, I was about to go off real again. Let's try again. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 85, and Uncle Buck. And I think this money will stay in here until it just gets so full. And I might have to do a bill exchange. Because I really don't want to put that into my personal accounts because that's not meant for me. So we're going to move back to game night or game day board here. Our little bouye. And we have six. Car maintenance, good. Very good. We got to save it for that car that she's going to be receiving. Let's go into, let's go into a pumpkin. And you know, guys, funny fact, pumpkin was my nickname that my dad gave me when I was a baby. So whenever I see pumpkins, I really think of my dad. He's passed away, but I just smile every time I see a pumpkin. So when you guys are filming, you have like pumpkins on your channel for um, decoration. It really does make me smile. It makes my day. So we have 20 here. I mean, this stuff is making a mess. Okay. So 20 is going to go into Mama Cat's car on here. And let's see. I said that was in rows here. Let's go to that. And that's going to be at $20. So that should be $30. No, no, it's not. There's more in there. I don't know why I thought that was just 110. So we've 20, 31, and 32, correction, and to the car fund. Okay, let's see. We don't have that much money left, so I think game night is kind of coming to a close. Let's go in and see where our next category is going to be. Three. Three is savings. Okay. So... Savings is going to be in here. And I think, too, um, you know, if I'm lacking in one category and I have money in savings, I can always pull for savings. I mean, it's no rule that I can't. Did I scratch? No. Why am I jumping ahead? I don't think I... Did I scratch one off? I don't think I did, did I? Did I? Yes, I did. 20? No, that was home. Okay, I'm getting confused. If not, I, I'm cheating myself, but... Um, let's just go into the ghost. I don't think I did scratch. I think I just rolled. Let me know in the comments below. Did I, did I skip one? I think I'm on board. I think I'm supposed to scratch next. I think I just went automatically to the envelope. Okay, so we have 15. If not, I will be cheating myself. I have some money, clearly, but we'll see. So we have 15. And 15 will go into savings. So let's see. 10 and a 5. So let's arrange this here and see what we have in savings. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 10, 24 in savings. So that has really helped out. Now, normally when I do my game boards, I do it through 0 through 10, which gives me a bigger range of categories. But lately I've been doing it 1 through 6 because it narrows it down to what categories are really important at the time. So let's see. We have 4. 4 is Uncle Buck again. Okay, so let's grab this one and let's do, let's do the cauldron. See what's going in Uncle Buck. Oh, 18. Okay, 18 bucks. So... Let's grab Uncle Buck and, ooh, I need some change. Okay, hold on, let's see. Let's make some change. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can make change out of here. Let's see. Oh, I could just do a 20 and pull out two ones. I know some people do change like that, so let's do it that way. So in Uncle Buck, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, and 3. Wow. That kind of wrapped up fast, too. Wow. Okay. So, it does help, too, if you're struggling with your budget to concentrate on a couple of envelopes or categories. That might help you out as well 
if you're struggling with trying to figure out, just make a list of what's important to you. And then, you know, focus on that small list and then work your way up. So six, which is car. And like I said, I think I'll do car fun and not car maintenance. So that is confusing. So let's go down to, okay, we just have the pumpkin. We have the pumpkin and then the scary one up here. So let's do the pumpkin. So this is going to the car fun. Okay, two bucks, okay. Two bucks into the car fund from Mama Cat. So let's go into rows to car. Let's do one, two. And then let's stick it in here and see what we have. So in her car fund, we have 20, 31, 2, 3, and 34 into her car fund. And hopefully she'll be getting that car next year. But it's not really a super rush because right now, like I said, she's doing treatments. And I have been getting off and taking her to her treatments. I don't want her driving because it's really not safe for her. And then, you know, it's not safe for everyone else too if she's sick and trying to drive. So we have four for the last one. The last category is going to be Uncle Buck. Okay, Uncle Buck is getting the last. And let's scratch off this scary one up at the top. But I think I know how much money that's going to be. So we have this one left. Okay, so we have $8. So it wasn't as scary as, I mean, I made it out to be. Alicia from Hands and Bands tricked me because I really thought this one, because it was separated, was going to be a really scary one. So this should be $8. So let's see. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I didn't skip one. So that's good to know. Okay, so let's go into Uncle Buck for the last time. Add this $8 and see what we have left in Uncle Buck. So, let's see. Add this in. I'm really hoping you guys have enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, you're enjoying Halloween as well with your friends, family, or whoever you're celebrating with. Or, if you're in enjoying it with me, then I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> so, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and... Oh, no. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I wanted to do 12, but it was 11. So, 111 in Uncle Buck. And, guys, that is it for... Booyah game day. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said again, make sure you are su subscribed to my channel. If you're not already, I would love to have you here and any support will help me and Mama Cat out. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and give me a couple likes guys and share these videos with someone that you think will enjoy the video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support for me and Mama Cat. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Happy Halloween. Bye.